Hey, NorCal Carters, this is Jason, and today we are going to show you a quick video on the adjuster bolts on the MCP brakes. So, MCP, Martin Custom Products. Martin Custom Products. So, their website, mcpbrakes.com. Um, the reason I'm highlighting them is their tech support yesterday was very helpful. And I had a couple of questions that I didn't really understand on the master cylinder. The way it went together, it was a little bit weird, but they confirmed it was correct. But this is about the rear caliper and the adjuster bolt. So that's what this is. Again, MCP, um, CMP, it's very common on the older track magics, the Margays, uh, Invaders, you know, pretty much your American built carts. Um, and again, M. CP, look at the logo. If you see the logo on the master cylinder or the calipers, now you know it's MCP, mcpbreak.com. And this how-to video is brought to you by Extra Cart Parts, our, our official partner for 2024. So Extra Cart Parts, thank you for sponsoring this video. So let's get to it. Some of you may have seen this style where it has the big Allen. This particular MCP product, it's metric. So keep that in mind. This one is metric. Uh, a lot of their other models are American. So I am using metric wrenches on this one. And if you've ever wondered why you can't get your brake pad out and your fiddle farting around with this stupid thing and you can't get it, it's actually a very simple, creative idea that they came up with. As you can see, I have this adjuster and pad bolt removed. So I'm going to try to get inside there. Inside this nut, there's another bolt spring loaded. You'll see it here in a second. Spring loaded bolt. This one happens to be a four millimeter Allen head. This bolt screws into this pad, okay? Obviously I have this removed from the caliper to show you how everything works. So that's nice and secure. Don't over torque that inner one. Um, if you over torque it, you're probably not gonna break the bolt. You're probably gonna strip out the pad. So don't over torque that. Um, you know, it's a, let's see, five millimeter thread. So you're probably looking at anywhere from, um, you know, 12 to 18 foot pounds. So don't overdo it. So that inside bolt screws into the brake pad. Okay. I'm going to remove that real quick. This whole assembly, when this is on a cart, It's all together and is really not that accessible, right? So give me one moment. Oh, I'm using the six mil outer Allen to screw this in. And what you're gonna see here is we're gonna try to go flush, a little bit of debris falling out. We're gonna set these the same, okay? Now, normally this is going to be on the cart. The way, I, the way I'm showing you this off the cart is I personally am a very visual learner. So I need to see something all the way apart to understand it and how it works. So this is normally how this is going to be. This is a very quick video, so I'm not showing you how I'm setting them or anything else. I'm just showing you how these work. Pad. Line the hole up with the pad with the hole. Okay, anytime you're touching pads or brakes, make sure your hands are clean and oil free so that you don't get the oil on the brake pad. Now we're gonna use the inner nut or inner bolt. Again, in this case, it's four millimeter. Do these evenly, back and forth, couple turns each, couple 
until it bottoms out. If you do one at a time and bottom it all the way out, what will happen is you could bind everything up. So we, we don't want to bind it up. Go in a couple turns at a time. Now the cool feature about this, okay, the one, okay, that's snug. That's snug and secure. Again, this would normally be bolted on the cart. Now, what's cool about this setup, you're not gonna see it, but the, that pad backing plate is touching the caliper. Now you take your six millimeter, large nut, or not nut, but bolt, and you're gonna see this will adjust that pad. This is how you set your pad distance, or the pad gap between the brake pad and the rotor. So it's actually, once you see how this works, it's actually a pretty cool system. As you can see, that inner nut is starting to push out on the pad. That's how you set the gap. According to um, Martin Custom Products, they recommend anywhere from 20 to 40 thousandths air gap between the pad and the brake rotor. So inside bolt, it's a captive bolt that's not going to come out. The inside bolt secures to the brake pad. The outside nut or bolt, it's not really a nut, it's a bolt or a screw. Uh, the outside screw, that's how you adjust your air gap on this system. So as your pads wear, you just turn that outside screw. You need to replace your brake pad. You take the smaller Allen wrench. Again, this is a metric caliper. This one in my hand is metric. A lot of their other products are American. So before you get carried away and strip things out, check what size wrenches you're gonna need. But the principle is exactly the same on their, on their calipers. So to remove the pad, small Allen. Inside the big screw, standard thread. Loosen up. Loosen up. And like I said, I like to go back and forth so you don't bind them up because these are spring loaded. One side's off, one side's off. Boom. So that's the Martin Custom Products adjuster bolts and brake pad securing bolt all in one unit. So if you're a local business or a cart shop and you want to sponsor one of our how-to videos, reach out to NorCal Carters. And I hope this video was informative for you.